morning, my fellow friends and Miss Sakon. My name is Daniel. And my name is Yong Sin. Today we will be doing presentation about tax avoidance. So, first of all, tax avoidance arises because of multinational companies such as Starbucks, Amazon, Tesco, and other multinational companies that avoid to pay tax in their origin country to reduce their tax bill. And although it's legal, it's an unethical behavior conduct by the multinational company in the public perspective. And regarding this issue, just allow known as general anti-avoidance law rules that was proposed in 1961 in several countries. And we deal and got a scheme related to tax avoidance. However, GIR is not uh, capable to avoid new business model, new products and services that also keep in touch with uh, each of the taxpayers' transactions that have an aggressive nature to avoid tax. Consequently, the international organization and are working with OECD to renew the tax system and tackle this issue. It supports, uh, uh, it supports all the government of, from all over the world by implementing 15 new actions and one of them is enhancing tax, tax transparency. So the aim of this study is to further explain about tax avoidance as Tax avoidance uh, inhibiting a lot of countries since the multinational company uh, reduced the government income through tax. So, what is tax transparency? Tax transparency and access of information for tax purposes is designed to reduce tax avoidance and tax evasion. It supports government from all over the world in, 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 in enhancing the effectiveness of tax application and raising tax compliance. For several years, the Global Forum member have been creating development in the effectiveness of implementing tax transparency. There are two ways to gain tax transparency. One of them is EOIR, which is explain of exchange of information or request, and one of the other is AEOI or automatic exchange of financial information. So this time, so for the information about exchange of information on request will be explained by Yongsi. I will be talking about the key findings and the system of EOIR. EOIR is exchange in information on request. As Daniel has said just now, the increasing amount of taxpayers not paying the real tax amount is graduating affecting the economic and the economic activities in this in the system just right now. <coughs> exchange of information exchange of information on request allows the authorities to exchange their data and receive data from each of the other members within the same jurisdiction. Exchange of Exchange of information or request refers to an authority asking for the asking for an information from another authority and receiving the data from them. The purpose of EOIR is to provide a forum known as the Global Forum to monitor and keep track of the activities and to see whether the policies are implemented effectively or not. <coughs> Through a peer review process, the the tax, in the tax transparency is enhanced and the policies are implemented. They are <coughs> the, the global forum also provides the global forum also provides a platform for the jurisdictions to exchange that information with you. From there, the Global Forum makes adjustments for the developing countries as they are struggling with the old policies. There are two main there are two main there are two main rounds of the peer reviews. The first the first round is the legal and the regular aspect of the policies, while the second round is the Well, the second round is the, when the policies are put in the framework for practice. The first, 
The first cycle of EOIR was held from 2010 until 2016. But the second round is held from 2016 until next year, which is 2020, which is one month from now. <coughs> Peer reviews are done by two lead expert ass assessors, and the first round of the first cycle of the peer reviews made a tremendous success as 60% was increased. While conducting the peer reviews, OECD rates the, each of the following jurisdictions with four available ratings. Compliant, largely compliant, partially compliant, and non-compliant. Compliant shows that the jurisdiction effectively uses all the policies and there is no def deficiency, deficiency available. Largely compliant shows that the policies are used to a certain extent but some improvements are needed. Partially compliant shows that the policies are used but they are, they are not used to avoid the deficiencies. Well, non-compliant shows that deficiency is present. The, the table in our the table in our poster shows the peer review ratings of all the jurisdictions in the year 2019. Countries such as Korea or Singapore got the rating of compliant, while well, Malaysia only got largely compliant. Which shows that Malaysia must must do something to improve their own ratings. Countries such as countries such as Turkey or Ghana got partially compliant while countries like Guatemala got non-compliant. It shows that they really need a lot of improvement in their systems. There are three main parts of there are three main parts of the standards in exchange of information in, on request requests. <coughs> The first is availability of info. The second is the is <coughs> access of information, and the third one is the ex exchange of information. Availability of information is effective when there is accurate, up to date, and reliable sources. <coughs> Documents such as accounting records and bank records must be maintained for five years, at least five years. The second, the second element is access of information. Access of information is when the jurisdictions must make sure that information is accessible for any type, any kind of other jurisdictions to monitor or keep track of. The third element is exchange of information. The exchange of information must be done in a network process and it must be done perfectly. Now I will pass it to Daniel to do the recommendations. So based on the data we obtained from our research, there are still a lack of information about the effect of tax amnesty and tax forgiveness towards the tax avoiders. So we can see from the table to a survey done by OECD in 2016, Uncertainty of implementation of tax place number one to the affecting the business performance with 60.8%. And based on the table three, increasing amount of MNC participation with obeying tax also in the she can see from the case initiated by by the multinational company and there were seven percent of cases have been done from 2011 until 2017. To conclude it up, OECD aim to achieve tax fairness around the globe and address issues such as tax avoidance and tax evasion. Uh, multinational companies aim with tax jurisdiction to profit shift their profit and it leads the developing countries suffer a lot. So that's all from us. Thank you. Start by implementing their laws more strictly and 
putting more focus in the tax efficiencies while opening up to other jurisdictions. Any more? Do research on the GIA and why it is failed to prevent the avoidance? So GIA have failed to prevent tax avoidance because tax abuse is too narrow. Uh, very, uh, such an example of Starbucks or Amazon, there are very big case, they cannot settle it. And there are no penalty towards the implementation of GIA. Okay, you have mentioned the documents need to be maintained for five years. If they don't maintain, what will happen? Um, if they don't maintain for five years, the 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 records that have not been maintained for five years will be linked and will be identified as not reliable. What is the consequence then? It will result in either penalties or other jurisdictions not uh, believing in them, in their data. Now, uh, some, at the beginning, somewhere towards the beginning, you have mentioned, how are adjustments, there's something about adjustments being made for developing countries. What adjustments are you talking about? Adjustments of Adjustments on developing countries should be like either they put more effort into their tax transparency systems or they could they could give other jurisdictions more uh, more reliable data for them to believe them. That's all from us, thank you.